Hi guys, my name is Yash and today in this video, we will see how you can restrict content on your website using custom rules and can decide if you want to hide or show widgets and sections using custom rules. With the display conditions feature of Powerpack add-on for Elementor, you can take control over every element of your website using Elementor and can make them appear only when they meet a certain criteria. You can add these custom rules to single widgets and to entire sections easily using the advanced tab. There are lots of scenarios where you would find this feature handy. So why don't we understand the working of this feature with the help of some of these scenarios. Let's take a look at them, shall we? Let's say if you want this button to only appear on browsers which are not Google Chrome, since the button says open this page using Google Chrome, having this button show up in the Chrome browser will not make much sense, right? So let's go ahead and set a condition to not to show this button when the user is visiting the website using the Chrome browser. So go to the button setting and click on the advanced tab. Now go ahead and click on the power pack display conditions subsection. Here enable the display conditions toggle button and now you will be able to set your own custom rule. Since we want this button to appear on every browser except Chrome, select the parameter as browser, the condition as is not and the value as Google Chrome. Now this button will appear on every browser except Google Chrome. Let's go ahead and update our page. So as you can see right now we are accessing the website using our Chrome browser. We are not able to see the button. But let's say we access the website using any other browser. For example, Microsoft Edge. In this case, we should see the button. There you go, you have your button right there. Let's take another example. Your browser is one of the parameters that you can use. For example, you can use the device that your user is accessing from as a parameter. Now let's restrict our content based on the operating system your user is coming from. Let's take an example of an app landing page. So an app can be on a Play Store for Android users and can be on the App Store for Apple users. And definitely adding both the buttons is not the ideal solution for this trivia. Let's see how you can simplify this using display conditions of Powerpack. What we can do here is make two different buttons, one for the Play Store and one for the App Store and make the Play Store button only appear for Android devices and the App Store button appear only for Mac and iOS devices. Click on one button which is let's take download from Play Store. Go to the advanced settings and click on power pack display conditions. Now enable the display conditions and set the parameters as operating system and set the value as Android. This will make the button appear only if the operating system is Android. Now go to the second button which is download from App Store and do the same changes but this time change the value for operating system as Mac OS. If you want you can go ahead and add multiple conditions as well. So let me just add another condition with the operating system as iPhone. Now the button will appear if the page is accessed using a Mac operating system or an iPhone. Once you are done with this, you can just update the page and preview your changes. So the reason you are not able to see any buttons is because we are accessing the website using a Windows device. Let me just change the parameters for one of the buttons. And I change it to instead of iPhone to Windows and update it. I must see download from App Store button appearing on my Windows device. So let's take a look. As soon as I do it, the page refreshes and I see the button download from App Store. So this is ideal for app developers for who are looking for a way on adding multiple buttons on your website but do not want to over clutter your website layout. All right, let's take a look at one more example. Since we do not want our users to see this sign in button if they are already signed in, we will add a condition to this button to make it disappear if the user is already signed in. For this, open the page using Elementor Editor. Go to the button settings. To the advanced tab. 
and enable the display conditions for the button. Set the login condition as login status is not logged in. So your logged out users will be able to see the buttons, but your logged in users won't be seeing that button. Let's go ahead and update the page. So the reason I'm not able to see this button right here is because I'm already logged in to the website. Let me open this page in a private window. All right, here is your button in the incognito mode. And in the normal mode, you are not able to see this button because we are already signed in. These were just a couple of scenarios and there are a lot of things that you can do with the display conditions feature of Powerpack add-on for Elementor. If you too want to give this widget a try, download the Powerpack add-on for Elementor and start adding display rules and conditions on your widgets and sections easily. Let me know what you think of this feature by commenting your thoughts down below. And if you like this video, do leave a like.